Along with the growth in Oklahoma's oil and gas industry comes the need for more qualified workers to extract those resources from the ground. Our Russ Joel explains how Woodward's High Plains Technology Center is preparing a new generation of oil field workers for the next generation of energy production. I got five wraps on there, just let this chain slide through it. Right. But grip it enough that it'll grip this pipe. You might say that oil runs in the blood of Brady Mills. After all, he and his brother Barry have spent both their careers in the oil field. Having recently moved from the platform to the classroom. That keeps it from wearing that tubing out, all right? My job is to train new hands to go out and learn, learn how to get a roughnecking job on these drilling rigs. Both Mills brothers have found a new home here at Woodward's High Plains Technology Center, putting their efforts not into bringing up new oil, but bringing up new floor hands. You have to grab the horns and latch it. Oh, no, he don't, no, he don't get on the horn, just push him back here. When I sit down on a little latch. Employees come in and uh, they move up in the company, and so there's always a constant demand for these workers to come uh, into the field. And as the industry grows, there's just a demand for more workers. Dwight Hughes is deputy superintendent of the High Plains Technology Center and says the floor hand training program was spurred out of an economic necessity. Two years ago, uh, industry came to High Plains and uh, needed a training program, uh, so they could get a supply of workers into the field. And at that time, uh, Dr. Bill Jackson and Dr. Don Dale and Mr. Bird, that were the administrators at the time, wrote a Department of Labor grant to get funding to start this program. And at the time, that's uh, right in the heart of when all the drilling was going on in the Northwest Oklahoma. And so it just made sense to have it in Woodward. In the last, last few years, there's been a big growth in demand for new roughneck stuff out there. That, there's a lot of rigs that's been running, a lot of drilling going on, and there's a shortage of hands. And uh, they need new people out there, but they want them to have a little experience to come out there. An essential part of that experience is being versed in the academics of drilling, as well as the hands-on aspect. The main two classes I teach are production one and production two. Uh, production one is basically from roustabout to beginning pumper, and production two is kind of beginning pumper to advanced pumper. Well, basically, we stress safety out here. We have several classrooms to show them how to. Uh, we have some first aid, and then we take them out here on a simulator, show them where not to have their hands to keep from getting those fingers smashed and or cut off. I only want one guy's hand on the chain when I start pulling here. So have too many fingers up here, and you get about 10 or 15 of them cut off fingers laying around here, and it gets real nasty and stuff and bloody. Just want one guy's fingers on the floor. No, I hit our basic point here is just learn to basically to run the tong, elevators. It's the beginning job that they'll be doing out there on the rig, but we want to try to teach them the safe way to do it and try to keep the rig access down low. For its participants, the program represents the beginning of a new career, a career not just limited to Oklahoma. North Dakota is where I'll be working, yep. I already live in South Dakota, so. Like many of his peers, student Richard Lewis was drawn to drilling with the hope of literally striking it rich. Money's, that's really the main reason I'm here is the money is really good and you know, I figure get some money saved up, get some debt paid off and you know, tough economic times, if you got something you can pay you really good and you can get debt paid off, that's probably the best thing for you to do. But no matter what their motivation, Instructor Mills sees a bright future for the fine art of roughnecking. If they, if they understand a little more when they go out there about these rigs, and we show them that. We have a couple of days of classroom, and they learn quite a bit about how that industry operates, our oil industry and the drilling industry. And uh, I, I see a lot of interest in it, in the young people. 